This is Axelos, my 150 gram mammoth clone. And between the last couple of meets, it has had a few changes and upgrades to try and get it to self write. Basically, I had issues with it not self writing. I cut down some of the front armor and that made things even worse. So before the last fight, I removed the front armor entirely. Instead, adding down some just clear plastic, which has got some acetate on it to allow it to still scoop up other robots. And this helped somewhat. It's still a little bit awkward and a little bit uh, hard to self-write, especially on one side. If we fall over motor side, it is a lot harder to self-write. You can still drive around, but the fact that the motor sticks out this much means that it's a little bit harder to actually get the self-write to happen. Uh, on the other side, it is a little bit easier. So today I want to go through and try a few different bits and pieces to see if we can make Exilus here self-write just that little bit better. Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic. As to how we're going to do this, uh, I'm going to fall back on an old reliable. This here is fencing wire. Those of you who have been around the channel for a decent amount of time know that uh, all the way back when I built This Is A Party, I used to use this stuff as the bunny rabbit ears to keep This Is A Party from slamming its weapon into the ground when it was inverted. So I figure it's going to do the same kind of job here. The only thing that we need to know right now is how much weight removing this front wedge uh, gave us. I mean, some of that weight has been used up by additional googly eyes in a number of places, thanks to my sister for doing that, because of course the robot always needs googly eyes. Where are we at? We are at 147, so we have three grams to play with, which thankfully is a decent amount of fencing wire. And also the fencing wire may be just a temporary thing. If I can, if I have enough time to uh, 3D print some stuff, we might even try a bit of 3D printing just to do these a little bit more permanently because currently I'm literally heating up the hot glue gun. We're gonna hot glue on some fencing wire to try and get this to work. Uh, but normally I am kind of aiming for just like a rod out the side, I think. I think that's gonna be the best because if we throw out something like this long, so if I kind of like tip the robot over, there is gonna be a point. So this is about our point of no return where we're falling onto our side. So we kind of wanna be about here. Because this is the best way to try and do a self-rider, is to have a piece of something that stops us from falling past the point of no return. We want to be at the point where we're going to fall back onto our wheels rather than fall all the way over. So I think about here is our point of no return, at least on this side. Yeah. And as you can see, Upside down is fine because the weapon can flick the whole robot over. What's not fine is this. Now, I guess the other thing that we could look at potentially is thickening the weapon arm up. So currently the weapon comes to a thin point, but if we had a thick bar, as long as it was still able to pass inside the gap here, should actually touch the ground maybe a little bit more while we're in this position. Maybe, although that's definitely not going to work for the other position because there is so, so much gap in here. Uh, so I think that's just going to add extra mass and extra uh, weight. You can see I can basically just get a finger in underneath here on this side, but on the other side, we are like so much space basically. Uh, so that's not going to work. All right, that's cool. Getting options out of the way early, like to see it. So, wow, okay, if we do that straight, that's gonna be a huge amount of wire. We can't really afford that, but let's try about yay much. I'm gonna put a little bit more through so that I can bend the tip of it. That just gives us a smoother contact patch with the ground, which would be nice. And now, we're literally just going to hot glue this boy on here and see if that makes any difference at all. It should, it really actually, this should make the world of difference to us. I mean, obviously the problem with hot glue is I'm going to need to 
hold this wire in place while the hot glue dries. And if I wobble it too, too much, it's going to completely uh, destroy the actual hot glue attempt. All right, and the glue has set up. So now we have wings, which is interesting. The thing I did realize while I was going through and letting these cool down is that this is going to significantly impact uh, how I can drive around the arena. If I get too close to a wall, I'm gonna be able, not gonna be able to turn without bending these up, which is interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that particular issue yet, but you can see they do the job. Like we fall over. I mean, this one, uh, I wobbled it too much as the glue was drying, so it's not perfect, um, but it's, it's okay enough for me to be like, yeah, okay, that'll, that'll do. And the thing is, even here, so I've just pushed that in a little bit and you can see it was perfect before because uh, if I pushed it over to it, it immediately rolled back again. And if I push it in now, uh, it's not quite perfect. But from this position, we should be able to self-right just by driving. The act of driving will get that robot back on its wheels. Now in this direction, things get a bit weirder because uh, the standoff at the back is only on one side. So things have to be a little bit more rigid um, and a little bit longer. Whoop, okay, so yeah, both of these had the same issue, which is interesting. I've never had hot glue be this bad before. Usually hot glue is great at this type of thing, uh, but you can see, getting thrown around, this is the type of thing that we want. But I think for now what I want to do is print these in ABS, get rid of this hot glue that I've put down, print these in ABS, uh, and see how we go. So uh, surprising, I guess, mostly me, this actually printed. It is a very long, thin piece of ABS. I was expecting it to warp like crazy, and it just didn't. So I'm really, really happy with that, to be perfectly honest. Now, to avoid the issues I had last time where I was wobbling around and uh, not gluing the thing in the right spot, I have brought uh, my helping hands that I usually use for soldering. And hopefully what we can do is use these helping hands to um, help, basically, to do their job, to help fit this into place correctly uh, and all we're going to do to hold this down is we're going to use a little bit of super glue and some hot glue as well but with the helping hand in place like that everything should just work really um, so we need to put some super glue on here and then get the hot glue in and then that'll be that and then all we need to do is wait for the right side to be finished once the right side's finished, we will glue that on in exactly the same manner. Now, I will say this is ABS. ABS doesn't particularly like super glue. Um, normally, the best thing to do with ABS is to acetone weld, but I'm running out of time, uh, and so super glue is going to have to do the job for us here. Uh, and I think with the helping hand, if we jam this piece in place and leave it, the super glue will kick. It's just that if you move things around too much with super glue on ABS, uh, you create a thin film of super glue that has like dried on itself and then you can't stick anything to it. Or at least I think that's what's going on. I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that if you mess with uh, super glue on ABS too much, the glue just doesn't stick and you get nothing. So. Uh, in this case, we should be fine. And as mentioned, we're going to pile a bunch of hot glue on as well. So between these two things, something should make it stick. That's essentially the hope. Okay. 
And there we go, one rather silly looking bewinged uh, Exilus here. And I don't know how this is gonna work. It's gonna be interesting to say the least. These are a little bit more flexible than the old ones were, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. It might actually help because it might bend and spring us a little bit. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I am now just a absolute gigantic robot. Turning around near walls is gonna be virtually impossible. I, uh, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work. We will find out. There will be a fight report coming up very, very soon because I literally need to throw Exilus into a bag and take it to a fight right now. So anyway, I hope you have all enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.